Our story starts when Bella, a four-weeks-old squirrel, was attacked by an owl. The owl wanted to make a meal out of her, but luckily the baby squirrel survived. Despite fighting off the big bad owl, Bella was injured. Surviving in the wild is not easy and the odds were not in Bella's favor. Fortunately, everything changed when she was found by a wildlife rescue group that decided to take care of her. To make things even better, Bella was placed with the Brantley family who took care of her. This cute little thing is Bella. As you can see, the Brantley family was happy to take her in. Although, Bella was not the only squirrel in the family since the Brantleys love to take care of animals. Let's see who Bella's new friends are. These three squirrels are called Larry, Moe, and Curly. They instantly became best friends when she was taken in. Sadly, Bella was just a baby and her injuries were making it hard for her to recover. Even though Bella's health wasn't in good shape, the Brantley family was doing the best they could to help her. Check out how they took care of her. Since Bella was still a baby, the Brantleys needed to hand-feed her. Luckily, this wasn't an issue for them because they loved spending time with Bella. This is what they would feed her every day. The Brantleys fed Bella healthy food like formula, fruits, and veggies. However, that is not the only type of food that Bella liked. She also enjoyed eating nuts and the Brantleys made sure she had enough every day. Now that Bella was being taken care of, she was finally recovering. The Brantleys were happy to see that the squirrel is feeling better but sad because they knew she had to leave. Check out what the Brantley family had to say about letting her go into the wild. Even though the Brantleys got attached to Bella, the entire goal was to take care of her and to let her go back into the wild. They knew this right from the start, and that's why they tried to not treat her like a house pet. However, the weirdest thing happened right after Bella left their home. April came and this meant that it was time for Bella to leave. The couple took the squirrel and her other three friends and let them out into the wild. What happened next will amaze you. Within one week of leaving the Brantley house, Bella came back. This surprised everyone, but it was normal. The family first thought that Bella just wanted some more food, although they weren't ready for what Bella did next. Even though the family thought that Bella would leave after eating and drinking, she decided to stay a little bit longer. This was weird because most squirrels don't get attached to their rescuers and all they want is to stay in the wild. The family took Bella to the forest again, but she returned once again. Days after being dropped into the wild again, Bella decided to come by the Brantley house. This made it clear the family that Bella liked them, and that's not all. Seeing how much Bella cared for them, the Brantleys started hanging out more with the squirrel. They even took some silly pictures like this one. How much cuter can this squirrel get? Even though seven years have passed since Bella was first released in the wild, she still makes sure to pay a visit to the Brantley house every now and then. It's just like she wants to check up on them and see if they are okay. The Brantleys started considering Bella as one of their own. They love taking silly pictures with her every time she comes around. Keep reading and see for yourself. While the Brantleys might love taking pictures with Bella, we think it's safe to say that she enjoys posing for them, especially when considering that they keep on giving her nuts. The couple likes Bella so much that they even have a painting of her. Check it out in the next photo. Isn't this painting amazing? It shows how much the Brantleys care for Bella. What's even more amazing is that Bella let the couple meet her squirrel family. Sadly, Bella got injured once again and the Brantleys needed to take her in once again. However, this time something was different. Bella was pregnant. Now that Bella was injured again, the couple made sure to take her in and help her, especially now that she was pregnant. You won't believe what Harrison Brantley had to say about this. It was truly amazing to watch the baby I raised raise her own babies, said Harrison Grantley. Nonetheless, Bella was lucky to have such good friends because she wouldn't have made it on her own. Bella is fine once again and she is off in the wild with her babies. Even though she might not visit the Brantleys every other week like she used to do, they are still waiting for her to show up on their porch asking for nuts. This story was really incredible, but you will like the next one more. Adorable Squirrel visits her favorite person every day. Sometimes, having a tight schedule can feel like a burden. But this counselor at a junior high school in Texas is very happy to go to work every morning. She even goes on summer holidays, but only to complete a different task, see her furry friends and feed them. Crystal Herta goes early to school every day to help her students. 
but part of her routine in the morning is also to feed the local squirrels. Wait until you hear her story, it will melt you to the core. Herta's morning is a bit different for the last three years. She said that her office window points out to this huge tree, and we have a ton of squirrels. She saw a special squirrel who needed extra help to survive. You won't believe what she did. The woman saw that one squirrel in particular was missing a front paw. Thinking she would need some extra help, Herta started throwing a little bit of corn out there every day. Little did she know that the squirrel will do something amazing. The tripod squirrel also received a funny name, Stubby. Crystal Herta was happy that the critter came to get her free snacks. A few days after, the other squirrels came asking for some treats. It's been three years since Herta brings dried corn or a corn cob to feed the furry friends. They come to get the treats and then go back into the trees, looking for nuts and other foods as she continues her work. Every morning when Herta gets into her office, the squirrels wait for her at the window. And if she runs late, they will just wait for her to come in. Wait until you see what she said about them. This is too funny. They'll literally start tapping the window as if to say, Hey, you're late, said Herta. And if she misses work one day, her colleague would say, Your squirrels have been looking for you, wondering what they do in the summer holiday. When Herna has a few weeks off during the summer holiday, she will come to school every other day to make sure the squirrels have their treats. Herta's heart belongs to Stubby, though. This is what happened last fall. We're melting over here. Last fall, Stubby had three babies. Herta said she'd see her run around with them and hold them. It was the coolest thing, but that's not everything. What Stubby does next will blow your mind. It's been a few months and Stubby's babies are big enough to bring them along. Herta said that she brings them to my window too. This critter knows how to make an entrance, and she is quite a fighter too. Stubby might have only three paws, but she is the boss in her group, says Herta. She's had a lot of fun over the years when she's seen Stubby wage war on the squirrels that came on her turf. Herta said that if someone else gets near the corn she's eating, she'll run them off. You don't see a squirrel missing a paw very often, let alone one with such a funny personality. What's so great about this tiny critter is that she's a survivor. Herta laughed, saying that Stubby has no idea that she's any different from the others. This story filled everyone's hearts with joy. Next story will also make you laugh and melt from this much cuteness. Here's a hint. It had squirrel parties and many almonds. Ashley Deskins found one morning four baby squirrels in her backyard. She watched the mother squirrels come to get the babies, but two were left behind. She and her husband rushed to the vet, but they were too injured to be saved. She said that her experience sparked special interest in the squirrels, which caused me to appreciate and enjoy them during my daily routine. She started by occasionally leaving almonds on her back patio. Then she got an amazing idea. Ashley started to create small places where squirrels could eat their almonds. It started with just some little props and eventually led to me buying flooring to create more detailed images. She started taking photos. She paid attention to the materials that squirrels felt like jumping on and she started to use them. That's when she created more elaborate decors. You could say that she's throwing full-on parties for the squirrels. The scenes are filled with almonds, but the squirrels are too fast for the camera. It could be hours before any visitors come by. It can take several more hours before I can accomplish some finished images because they take their almonds and run away. Some of the squirrels will stay and eat them at the tiny tables. Ashley and her husband even named them after characters from Harry Potter, Neville, Luna, Lily, and Severus. We have a black male squirrel that visits called Severus that has an injured leg. They think Severus is one of the two babies that fell from their nest and were saved by their mothers. Neville has more courage as he even gets inside the house to get more almonds. People are melting over these photos, so Ashley created a squirrel calendar. The calendar is filled with the most adorable photos. Who knew that a squirrel party can bring so much joy to both Ashley and to her squirrel friends, who are always ready to get their daily treats?